Hello everyone. Welcome to another video by Chiacon Consulting. This is your friend Rahul. In today's topic, we will show you how to retrieve download files from the system download folder using just a single query. Often when we download files from website, we have to manually interact with the user interface, clicking on the save as button and providing the desired storage location. However, in this video, we will demonstrate a method to automatically transfer download file to a specific location without any user interface interaction. So let's get started. Guys, I already made this sequence. So let me explain you this. But before that, uh, let me download the file from web browser. I already processed this file. And when I hit click on download image, I get download this file. So let me show you what the file is. Uh, so here we got a logo of Chiacom. So we download that file and here we get here. We take an assign activity in which we declare a variable with the name of LV first file. And this is of a string type. And as a value of this uh, assign activity or this variable, let me explain this. Uh, this is system.io.directory.get file C user plus environment dot username plus downloads star order by descending function p new field in 4d dot creation time dot two list zero okay this is the query but now many of you wonder what is this query and i don't get it so don't worry guys let me explain it so first i explain a system to get files so system dot io dot directory dot get files what this mean this method is used to retrieve the name of the files which uh, within a specified directory in this code it is called with the two parameters uh, what are those two parameters let me explain this the first parameter is the directory path which is constructed using the concatenation what is concatenation here this plus sign is known as concatenation it means we are merging two things okay uh, this uh, plus operator is a sign of concatenate here it starts c user to specify the root folder for user profile followed by the environment dot username to get the current username and finally download to specify the download folder within the user profile okay the second parameter is uh, to search the pattern of the filter the files in this case this star is used which match all files in the specified directory so what is the second parameter the second parameter is order by descending function order by descending function d new field info d dot creation time so what this line means so okay, this part of the code performs sorting of retrieve files based on their creation time in descending order it is used the order by descending link query method to sort this file the method accept a lambda expression that is function d in this case that define the sorting of creation here how it works here we see the d this D represent the file in the list of file obtained from the previous step. New file info D. This part. The new file info D creates a file info object for each file, which allow accessing properties and method related to the files. Okay. So in certain times, retrieve the creation time property of the file. The sorting is performed based on the creation time. What is the creation time? The sorting is done on this creation time property with the file having the most recent creation time appearing first in the list. Okay, so and this last pass to list zero is the final tool. To list method is called on the sorted file to convert them into a list of string. The zero index is used to retrieve the first file from the sorted list. This assume that the list is not empty and contain at least one file. So in this zero is an index number. Okay, so if I summarize this code, retrieve all the files in the download folder of the current user, sorted them based on their creation time in descending order and return the path of the most recently created files. Okay, so take another assign activity. Here I take some one another assign activity with the name of LB file path of the string variable. And here I declare the path where I need to store that file. Okay, now I take move file activity. Here in the from portion, I pass the value of where I get the file that is LV first file and in the to section I write LV file path means where I need to store that file. So this is the code guys. So let me run this once. Okay. So now code execution is completed. So let me see the result. So here's the result I already run before. So let me delete this both files and run it again so we can see that if it is moving or not but before that let me download it once again
here we can see this file is downloaded at 1732 and I run the process. And here we get the file. Okay, this file is a Chiacon logo. And when I see here in the downloaded portion, the 732 file is moved and transferred to that folder position. Okay, so this is deleted from system download folder. Okay, so this is our process to move file from system download folder to a desired folder. Hope this video helps you. Don't forget to like and subscribe our channel RPA Quick Bytes. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, happy automation.